Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do a Joe Malone, oh, this bag's a, a Joe Malone haul as well as an unboxing and mini review. Um, so, Joe Malone is my absolute favorite fragrance company. Um, I love their fragrances so much. They are fragrances that I wear every single day, and I just absolutely love them. They're some of my favorite things to wear. And they actually have new fragrance that I all I purchased as well as I have a problem with just buying the fragrance and not any other layering piece. So I did order some body creams too, which I'm so excited about. So let's get right into it. The first product that I picked up was the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Body Cream. I hate that this camera does not focus sometimes. Okay, so that's the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Body Cream. Now, I already have it in the 100 milliliter cologne as well. And this fragrance smells so good. This came out last year, 2014. And it says, Escape the Everyday along with winds along the windswept shore waves breaking white the air fresh with sea salt and spray alive with the mineral scent of the rugged cliffs mingling with the woody earthiness of sage lively spirited and totally joyful now this is the only joe malone fragrance that does not have any floral notes at all in it and let me tell you it smells so good it smells super fresh super clean just like you're at the beach, but it's not that typical beachy scent. It smells like, here's what I say it smells like. It smells like you have a big piece of birch wood, and the wind just blew the salt water over it, and you're standing in the back. That's exactly what it smells like. You get that, you just get that gorgeous salt, but it's not overly salty. And then you just blend the notes of the wood and everything, and a little bit of that sage, a little bit of that peppery sage, it's a gorgeous fragrance, absolutely gorgeous. So I have a hand and body wash, a body cream, and the cologne in it. So I'll be smelling good all day. And the body creams come packaged in the gorgeous Joe Malone gift boxes with the little ribbon. Absolutely love it. Then their absolute newest fragrance is called Mimosa and Cardamom. I like to say Mimosa. And no, it's not a drink mimosa. It is a flower. And I got the matching body cream. And it says, Mists of honey golden mimosa float above the spiciness of freshly crushed cardamom. Creamy tonka and smooth sandalwood woven under powdery heliotrope and damask rose picked at dawn. Warm, ethereal, and mesmerizing. When you first smell it, you're going to just smell like a clean baby. That is what you're going to smell at first. But... As you start to smell the fragrance, why is my camera not working? It's like really weird. But anyway, um, you're just going to get a baby, like a baby powdery type scent. Put a body cream on or put the fragrance on and let it sit for a couple minutes. You develop into this spicy cardamom that is just amazing for this time of year. For fall, for the end of spring, beginning of fall is when I would start to wear it. Blended gorgeously gorgeously with a tiniest tiniest bit of rose this is a fragrance that just came out this year like i said and it is amazing i already dipped into the body cream a lot and put that body cream on it melts right into your skin it has jojoba oils cocoa butter all sorts of great 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 ingredients in it and it just melts right into the skin absolutely lovely love it so so much and you put it on, spray that fragrance, you smell great all day long, and it just develops, like I said, from that baby powdery type scent to a gorgeous spicy fragrance. And there's the body cream right there. It's amazing, tell me, it's amazing. Then, they're not their signature scent, but a very popular fragrance I own in the one ounce size. Joe Malone actually sent me a box of goodies. I believe I reviewed it on here, and there's half a bottle left because I love it so much. I had to get the body cream in it, and this is in the fragrance Pomegranate Noir. Now, I do have one of their body creams before this lot, and it was, um, they changed it. Now they have this gorgeous frosted glass with the frosted stripes. It's awesome. Pomegranate Noir, the sensuality of a daring red dress, ruby juice grapefruits, oh, ruby juice juices, 
of pomegranate, raspberry, and plum are spiked with pink pepper and laced with Casablanca lily and spicy woods. Dark and enigmatic, I believe that's how you say it. Um, this is definitely for fall, winter. Again, it's definitely... I don't think I would wear this in the spring and summer just because it's very heavy. But this is so sensual, so delicious. I'm definitely going to have to get a candle in this. I love, love all their fragrances. There's not one fragrance of Jimlin I don't like. And just blends. I would say the pink pepper really comes out. The pink pepper and the pomegranate. Fiery, juicy red pomegranate. Blended with an amazing... Amazing woods. That spicy wood. I don't get a lot of the raspberry and the plum when you smell it, but when you put it on, you get a blend of these juices. It's dark. It's sensual. It's delicious. If you've ever smelled Henry Bendel's Autumn Noir candle, it smells exactly like it. Like it's a dupe for this body cream or for the fragrance, not just the body cream. I have to. It just smells so good. And the thing is, oh Drew, you're putting on different fragrances. Joe Malone is made for fragrance combining. It's made to blend fragrances together, trust me. Blending the pomegranate new R with the wood sage and sea salt is simply fantastic. It just makes it a, just a totally different scent. And then last but not least, I bought the body cream because I knew I was getting a little package in the mail that matches. This is Red Roses. Now for the month of October, I believe a portion of the profits of Red Roses fragrance goes to breast cancer. So there's a tip, you have a couple days left. Oh no, you don't you don't have any days left. This is video is coming out in October. I have this in the hand wash currently at my powder room. And it smells to die for. The essence of modern romance, inspired by a voluptuous blend of seven of the world's most exquisite roses, crushed violet leaves, and a hint of lemon. It's a rose fragrance. No matter what you say, you know this is rose. It smells like like as a blend of a bunch of roses but it's not overly floral because the lemon really tones it down but you don't notice the lemon the lemon just adds a little bit of a blend if you know if you just juice for example adding coffee to chocolate cake or anything chocolate you might notice a tiny little bit but it just makes the coffee flavor it enhances the coffee flavor that's what this does it enhances that rose and the violet just makes it all warm and delicious. So I'm so glad I got the body cream in this. And by the way, the body creams from Jo Malone retail for $75. Um, the 34 ounce, or the 34, the 3.4 ounce, 100 ml bottle of cologne retails for $125. And the one ounce retails for $65. Now in this package, if you can't guess, is... I actually ordered this one from Nordstrom because what is in here? Oh, free samples of other perfumes. Victor and Roll Flower Bomb. Just some perfumes. And then in here. Oh, that's a big box. Oh, oh, this is gorgeous. See, that's the only problem. I don't want to look how gorgeous, except this is a little messed up. Oh, no, it's not. It's right here. Well, it's a little messed up, but look at that Joe Malone box. And inside the Joe Malone box, here it is. Gorgeous, gorgeous red roses. And it's crazy. You can actually see it's a tiny, tiny, tiny hint of pink. Not you can It's nothing that you'd be able to notice. But, ooh, I hope this residue comes off. I care a lot about my bottles. Yeah, see, there's a little bit of residue, but I'll get that off. Here it is, Red Roses Cologne. The brand ambassador for Jo Malone. Her name is Poppy Delavine. She, I believe, she's a model in France. I'm not exactly positive. She wore red roses since she was 20. Or 22. This smells so good. And no, I'm not smooshing my wrist. I'm just patting just to really get the fragrance. Oh, it's so good. So good, you guys. I'm so glad to add this to my collection. Now, on to the big... Whoa, I don't want to show my address. The big Mama Jamma. This is straight from Joe Malone. Two roots... Two of the same scent that I talked about in one new scent. Well, not new to me, but... 
black tissue paper. Oh, a circle of black tissue paper. There it is. A Jomalon card with nothing on it. Might use that as a gift if I ever give Jomalon as a gift, which is very rare. More paper. I love that everything is individually boxed. Ah, I have so many Jo Malone boxes. Here's another box. Oh, I'm so excited. These are for my bathroom. <laughs> These are the reed diffusers. So I'm going to set up one on camera, but this one is in that red roses fragrance. I have, I'm definitely gonna put these in my powder. They have a little ribbon on them too, and then they come with the reeds. These retail for $85, which seems pricey, but it lasts like five or six months. So in my opinion, it's not outrageous. And I got three diffusers. One for my upstairs bathroom, or one for my upstairs powder room, one for the downstairs bathroom, and then one to put away. Here's another one. And yes, I save all the packaging. This is the one I'm putting in my powder room as we speak. I'll set this one up for you. This is Joe Malone's signature fragrance. It is lime, basil, and mandarin. They sent, they sent me one of these, not a diffuser, but they sent me a, um, they sent me a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A one ounce um, cologne, in it, and I love it. And it's their signature, and that's what I want my bathroom to smell like. So this says, it's hard to see. Well, you can see a little bit. It says JML, Joe Malone London. So you unscrew it. Pop this right off. Oh, does that smell to die for? Screw that back on. Open the reeds. And it does say it takes about 24 to 36 hours to really get the fragrance. But I have a feeling it's going to last a lot longer. Or it's going to come a lot sooner. Now, obviously, I'd love to keep the bow on, but I'm taking it off. I'm going to be creative. I saw somebody on the Facebook page do this. Attach their bow to the front of the diffuser because it looks so elegant that way. And drop the reeds right in. So here it is right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Cannot wait for it to start. Obviously, you can't smell anything now, but it'll absorb all that oil. And I believe once a week, you just flip the reeds upside down to keep the fragrance. Oh, does this look absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to sit that in my powder room. It's just, Joe Malone is pure elegance. That's basically all the way you can describe it. <coughs> and then last... <coughs> Oh, that's a nice big bow. Is another diffuser. Obviously, I told you it was. In Pomegranate Noir. And this is going to go in my bathroom right now, and it'll last all through the holidays. And again, it'll smell absolutely divine. And here is the rain diffusers. So, that was my... Oh, got some samples. Oh, I got a lot. I got a Peony and Blush Suede Body Cream sample. I have so many of these samples, that's why I don't have a full-size body cream. Uh, ooh, a Lime Basil and Mandarin Mini Cologne. It's not their vials. It's their nice little size bottle. And a Nectarine Blossom and Honey Body Cream. And then a little box of some testers. Oh, and Lime Basil and Mandarin, our signature fragrance. Peppery Basil and Aromatic White Thyme. And an unexpected twist this season. Oh. Red roses, just a little vial of red roses. These I love to keep my bag, my pocket, everything spritz up your fragrance. But anyway, that was an empty box, a happy customer, and a longtime Joe Malone fan. And well, not longtime fan, but will be a longtime fan. So I thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Please check out Joe Malone and let me know what you think. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.